how to create a free landing page for Facebook ads. Hello guys and welcome to this tutorial on how to create a free landing page for your Facebook ads using Google Sites. Landing pages are essential for any successful online advertising campaign and they can help improve the conversion rate of your ads. In this video, we will guide you through the steps of creating a landing page using Google Sites that you can use for your Facebook ads. Google Sites is a free website builder that's easy to use and is a great option for creating a landing page. Well, over here right now, we are currently on the website Google Site. And to get to this page, you can simply go to a new tab and then search in Google Sites on your search menu. And you're going to see this first option over here. You're simply going to click this. And you would be redirected to the Google Sites. Now over here on the top, you can see that we have different galleries over here. We have an event gallery, portfolio gallery, help center gallery, and a project gallery. We could see more gallery by clicking on this button over here on the top right. And this will allow you to see more options, more different templates that you can use and create for your Facebook ads. For example, we have a holiday party dog walker, photo portfolio, restaurant, salon, and wedding. Now you can simply choose any template that you want and then you can edit them into the landing page that you would like to have. We can change all the content, for example, the heading, the, um, the text, the images. You could change every part of it. You could cut out parts that you don't like so that you would be able to build your preferred landing page. Now we're going to go back for the meantime and and over here below, this is where you would be able to see your recent created sites. You would be able to see and continue your previously made websites. You could also click on this main menu button over here on the top left. And you would be able to access different Google related applications such as Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Slides, and Google Forms. You could also use your Google Drive through this section. Now for us, what we're going to do is we're going to create a blank website for now we're going to click this and we would be redirected to this page over here as you can see this is like creating a powerpoint but the only difference is we're creating a website inside of a powerpoint so as you can see you can edit every single section of what we are seeing right now for example our heading over here we could edit this we could also choose an image for our background we could change our heading type from large ba from banner to large banner or a cover or a title only, just like that. Over here on the top, you can also change your preview option. For example, right now we are currently on a desktop view. We could change it to a tablet view and a mobile view. We're going to go back. And over here on the right side, you can see we have our different tools that we can use. We have for currently in the insert section where we can insert text block, images, we get add an embedded element or we could add directly from our google drive for example you can try adding a text box we're going to put this and this text box would appear on our page we could drag this around we rearrange this if you want but we could rearrange this with other contents of our page but right now because this is the only element that we have for the meantime we can't really change where it is located well, you can change and over here you can add any content that you would like to have. You could also do the same thing with images by clicking this. You could click on upload or select. For select, you would be able to see Google Drive images over here. For example, we can use uh, this image. And we would be able to see this image into our page. And we can also rearrange this and change its location by simply hold clicking or we could change wherever it was located just like that we can also combine this with the text element by dragging it into our text element over here and as you can see it will combine together we could change the size by drag by clicking on that section we could crop this image we could uncrop it we could insert a link we could remove it we could replace the image by uploading or selecting an image we could add alternative text if you don't know alternative text is for when the user can't view the image they would be able to see a text 
that would help them know what they are looking at. Now, for the meantime, we're going to delete this. We could also add embedded over here. For example, we could add a URL or we could add embedded folder over here. We could also click on Google Drive, which would allow us to add things from my Google Drive into our page. Now, there's also content blocks over here. This is basically layouts for your page. We could click this and it will add a layout for us to use. For example, this is a media block where we can upload an image or a video and we have our heading here and our text block over here. We could add more blocks and uh, we have two images over here, heading, heading, and then text. And basically, these are pre-made layout for you to use and add to your page if you want to use any of them. If you don't like to use the block that you have added, you can simply look over here on the left side. You would be able to delete this specific section. Just like that. You can also notice you have this option section colors and duplicate section over here. If you duplicate the section, you would have two versions of the same section that you have. You can simply click delete for the other one. And then we can also change our section color. By clicking this, we would be able to change from style 1 to style 2, which is a bit darker background, and style 3, which is depending on what theme our color is. We can also use an image as a background for a specific section. For example, we're going to try. And we're going to choose this one. We'll click on select. And as you can see, our text block has a background, which is this image. We're going to delete this for now. Well, we're going to check out more of the content. We're going to clear out our page. And as you can see here, we have a collapsible group group also. We could add other things such as a table of content, an image carousel, a, a button, a divider, spacer, social links, placeholder, YouTube, calendar, maps, docs, slides, sheets, forms, and charts. Now you can create your own Facebook ad landing page. For example, your Facebook ad is about a product that you sell. You can simply edit your page. For example, change this to your product name. Just like that. And we could add an image. We could select an image for the meantime. And we're going to search in our Google image. For example, our product is coffee mug. Just like that. We're going to wait for it and we're going to choose any image that we like for example this one we're going to insert and this will appear on our screen right now we could add a text block beside it we're going to drag this and put it beside our mug photo we could add text into this part you could add that information about your mug that you are selling and like for example inspiration for this product and why people should buy it add more information like that we could also use all of these elements that we saw earlier. For example, social links. We can click this and we could add a link. For example, Facebook. Com. And we could add over here YouTube. Com. And we're going to click on insert. And we would be able to see the logo for Facebook and YouTube over here. We could drag it into take to our text block over here. So that you could also promote your Facebook page or your YouTube channel if you have. For your specific product we could also add a button over here for our button we could add add to cart just like that and then we could add in the link for our e-commerce shop or wherever you are selling this actual product for example for the time we're going to add a random link shopify.com just like that we click on insert we would have this button over here where if they select this, they would be I, they would be redirected to the, the official shopping page of our product. We could edit our button information by clicking this. And we could change our button style to fill, to outline, to text, just like that. We could also edit the button once again. We could delete it. We could delete this if we want. We could also change the size by clicking on the side. Or we could rearrange them just like that. We put it back on the button and we could extend this. Just like that. Now you could add placeholders, you could add YouTube, calendar, maps, any of this option. You can simply add them. You could also check out the page over here. Right now, this is our home page. We could add an extra page, for example, a new menu section, a full page embedded, or a new link. 
that we're going to try and create a new page and uh, for this new page we could add maybe the about section and over here we have another page that we could add more information to for example we could add blocks over here and we could add text blocks and any information that we would like to add now we could click on page again then go back to home and as you can see and as you can notice over here on the top right section of our page we have home and about section buttons over here basically it automatically created a navigation bar for us to use and this will update whenever we add more pages into our website now we could enter our site name over here for example facebook at first part of the meantime then we could add a logo by clicking this we would be able to add brand image view we would we would be able to add brand image and over here we could upload our logo and copy pod we could click on select for the meantime and we could choose from google images or from photos that you have uh for example for now we're going to do the same thing coffee just like that um, we could choose any of this for the fan we're going to try and using this one uh just a random photo and just like earlier we will be able to see and just like earlier we will be able to add an alternative text if the users are unable to load in your photo as you can see also here on the background of our page our logo is uploaded on our page we also have this option over here to use logo as the color for our team we could enable this uh, as you can see the color would change our team color would change and accommodate our logo and after doing this after creating your facebook ad landing page you can simply click on publish over here on the top right and we would be able to type in our web address you could also add a custom domain if we have one but but for now we're simply going to use our random web address for example facebook landing page ads it's like that and we could also change the settings for who can view my site we could also edit the search section if we don't want public search engine to display our site we could enable this and after you're doing all of this you would simply click on publish and as you can see our page has finished publishing we can click on this and we would be redirected to our landing page that we have just created and you can also interact with the buttons for example we can go to our about section could go back to home we could click on the social affiliate just like that we could also click on add to cart which would redirect us to the url we added earlier <laughs> And the next thing you're simply going to do is you're going to copy your URL link and then use that for your Facebook ads. That whenever people clicks on your ad, they would be redirected to this page over here. And that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.